Plans are underway there to declare an empty Kmart store a public nuisance. City leaders say a growing homeless population is taking over the parking lot and surrounding area. There are health and safety concerns. More on what they could do about it from Action News 8 reporter Felix Cortez. He's live at that Kmart right now. Well, Dan, this parking lot used to be used by Kmart shoppers. It's now been taken over by the homeless who are often seen working on their cars or sleeping in their trailers. City leaders say declaring this area a public nuisance will help them address some of those issues. When Kmart moved out a couple of months ago, the problems moved in, according to neighboring homeowners and businesses. There's been a lot of aggressive behavior probably in the last couple of weeks. There's been more people here, drug use and alcohol. City leaders say the homeless have moved in, many of them parking their cars and trailers in the parking lot in front and behind the empty Kmart. They want the area deemed a public nuisance. And also neighbors have been complaining that you know people are throwing needles into their backyard. Um, there's a lot of fights going on. Um, so it's become its own little city on that, on that um, property. Where is everybody supposed to go? Where is it? I, I grew up here. Where is everybody supposed to go? Most of my family are dead. Monday, still gates went up in an effort to keep the homeless from parking behind the Kmart. And city leaders say the property owners are working with them to clear out the area. But Tuesday, the city will consider declaring the area a public nuisance, giving the city the authority to move in and clear out and clean up the area should the owners fail to do it. So we would put uh, liens on their property for the cost that it will take for us to um, take the action that is needed. Um, we will also go in um, and we can, you know, start uh, moving people out and, you know, making it a, um, a safe environment for the community. Nearby businesses say bringing in another anchor store will help solve the problem. But so far, no lease agreement has been signed with anyone. Uh, hopefully it's a great opportunity to attract like a big retailer, like a, like a Walmart or something bring jobs in, fill the space, and, uh, you know, they're uh, just hate to see empty spaces in prominent parts of the town. Of course, the city offering any outreach services to those who need it. As for that public nuisance order, the city council will take that ordinance up when they meet tomorrow evening. Dan. All right. Thank you very much, Felix.